Selma Hayek was nominated for an Oscar for her performance as the artist Frida Kahlo in the movie Frida back in 2002. These days, she's winning notice for her roles on behalf of charity, as John Blackstone tells us. Last night in Los Angeles, UNICEF, the United Nations Children's Fund, honored Selma Hayek with the Danny Kaye Humanitarian Award. And it takes so little to make big, big changes. It's recognition for all that she has done for more than a decade on behalf of women and children around the world. It's hard to decide who should get money and because how it so should be spent. Because so many people need it. Exactly. How should be spent It's the best, is, is the best question. It, it is finding who can you help the most, how can you help the best, and through who can you be the most effective. How did you become an activist? It's a very strange question. My head thinks, why don't you? She helped raise more than $700,000 for relief efforts after the earthquake in Mexico last September. In 2015, she visited Syrian refugees in Lebanon. And in 2008, here she is in Sierra Leone, where tetanus was a leading cause of death among mothers and babies. During the trip, a 15-year-old mother approached her with a hungry baby just a few days old. I have no milk, I have no money, I have no food to give him, I have nothing. And she was sobbing. And I said, I've got milk. Because I was, I had left my child for the first time and I was weaning her from breastfeeding and I had milk. And there was a lot of people that were uh, upset I did that. But there were many as well who said... Thank God. You <laughs> saved, you may have saved a life, right? Yeah. Salma Hayek was born in Mexico in 1966. Her father, of Lebanese descent, was an oil company executive. Her mother, Mexican and Spanish, was an opera singer. At the age of five, Salma would sit in front of the pink window in her home. Sometimes I would just look out this window and come up with stories and come up with scenarios of what my life would be and make myself cry on my own. It was my place where I would play with my imagination. When, when did acting enter your, enter your mind? Acting entered my mind, and then I was embarrassed to say I want to be an actress. But she says she somehow found the courage, and after appearing in popular Mexican soap operas, telenovelas, she came to Los Angeles at the age of 24 and studied acting. But after being a big star at home, she got work only as an extra. At the time, it seemed like there was no chance to succeed, especially because I was um, Mexican. It, it didn't exist, this possibility. People would laugh at me. It's, it's a different time, but you have to understand really didn't exist, this possibility, it didn't exist. It's not that it was small, it didn't exist. But in more than 50 movies, she became one of those actresses, as they say, the camera loves. Coleman, stop the train. Miss Escobar's getting off. Who the hell is Miss Escobar? I'm a frightened, starving, half-naked young woman who only wants to find her father. It may be that her portrayal of the Mexican painter Frida Kahlo created the most attention. If you think I'm going to sleep with you just because you've taken me under your wing, you're wrong. She produced the movie and also earned an Academy Award nomination as Best Actress. I just, something inside of me just knew I had to do that one. I, I, it, it was an obsession, it was an obsession. So you had to work for eight years? To, eight years. To get it off the ground. Yes. She made headlines in December with a New York Times op-ed piece about the price she paid to work on Frida with producer Harvey Weinstein, which she wrote involved many inappropriate sexual demands, charges Weinstein has denied. But that essay helped to propel a movement. And... The most exciting part for me 
is that when the world saw all these women that are so visible, because it's Hollywood, coming together and saying, hey guys, this is not okay. We take the power in our hands to say, this stops now. In 2009, she married Francois-Henri Pinault, the French billionaire whose company, Caring, includes such luxury brands as Gucci, Yves Saint Laurent, and Stella McCartney. Her name is Diva. Diva. Mm -hmm. And today, Selma Hayek Pinot is busier than ever. Her production company, Ventana Rosa, named for that rose window she sat in front of as a child, is preparing four new movies and five new TV shows. I like to wake up every day and work. But I think I would die if I didn't have that in my life. 